the Yorkshire Dales late September. Normally a tranquil time. One weekend in 93 was very different. Pateley Bridge in Nidderdale hosted the final round of the World Trials Championship. The world's top riders were all here, but the focus of attention was a 17-year-old who'd only travelled a few miles from Silsden near Keithley. Dougie Lampkin, eldest son of Martin, Britain's last world champion. His impact on the senior scene has been unprecedented. Year one and he's European champion. The established elite of the sport are well aware of the latest Lampkin. Saturday, checking the machines and the course. For the Lampkins, it's a family affair. Dougie's minder and advisor through the 14 sections and over the rocks is Dad. Section 5, they've heard, is going to present big problems. This is where you're doing, Doug, back in, in here? Or off there. Right up. You're yeah, back in here. You're going to get a better room from here, though, won't you? Yeah. Back in here? Yeah. Dougie with his thoughts on tomorrow. His father remembering past glories. Come here, just tell this chap how we used to get up that on. 250 BSA with rigid back ends. Third gear. Third gear, no problem. It never spun an inch. And we didn't touch the clutch either, no. did we? We, couldn't, we didn't have a clutch. <laughs> the bikes were that old. <laughs> British champion Steve Colley puts tomorrow's task in perspective. Some big old steps here. I just hope I get up most of them. If I don't, we'll be crashing good. Fair yeah. drop that, innit, Mark? Yeah. Question one. Who sponsors number five? That's all right, isn't it? It's very good to clean, though. Two cleans in the dab, you'll be all right here. Yeah. Sometimes a good thing and sometimes a bad thing to know just what is in front of you. It is probably the biggest step of all. We've had so many young juniors in this country and all over the world that have been fantastic as juniors and just not made the transition to senior riding. Uh, and it, it's probably been helped by... He's, probably, he's gone to trial since he was three years old, has Dougie. And he's gone to watch, then he competed, now he's going to the under... So he doesn't really think anything marvellous has happened to him, I don't think. He just thinks the next thing is to carry on and, and, and win. Dougie, for 17, is like a very, very mature lad. Um, he's got the head of, I don't know, 20, 21 year, year old. When I was that age, um, I used to find it really, really hard to, to concentrate for like seven, eight hours in a competition. But uh, I think he's got a great future. Um, smashing lad. Um, and I'm sure he'll go very far. You do need a lot of brakes. You've got to be on a good bike and you've got to... Depends what the opposition is that particular year. But he's certainly far and away the best... And I'm speaking about my own son, I know, but the best junior rider that has done so much in six months, that nobody can believe it. No problem for the now five times world champion Jordi Tarras of Spain. The scrutineers were only joking. Keeping his title, though, is a problem. It's not so easy because all the time we are more young rivals. It's much difficult, no? Because also I win four times before. He, all the time I think it's more hard. Yeah, for sure. You know, I obviously won the British Championship this year. Um, I'm glad to have done it this year because I think next year he's going to push us hard for the money, definitely. <laughs> I think I definitely have surprised a few people this year, but I feel to be riding well at the minute. Just need to keep it up, unfortunately. Sunday, the spectators' car park at Bailey's Gap is filling. Many of the 10,000 crowds swarm round Section 5, waiting for the thrills and the spills. Next to go, Rider 27, D Lampkin. 
As yet, no one has survived Section 5. The aim of trials is to ride through a section, whatever the obstacles, without putting a foot down. It's balance and skill and commitment. Watching her boys anxiously, Mrs. Lampkin. A tough section, most failed. But the world's best made it look easy. Finland's Tommy Avala, last year's world champion. Italian Donato Miglio. British champion Steve Colley. The world number four, Spaniard Amos Bilbao. But the biggest cheers are reserved for the British boys. Colley clears two. The world stars have brought out the biggest British trials crowd for many years. Even the youngest seem to know exactly what to expect. The name Lampkin on the leaderboard, but ahead of him and the rest of the 50 riders, another teenager, 19-year-old Spaniard Mark Colom. <laughs> You know what I mean? Nearly straight off. Top of that second round. Yeah. It's all third for you, Dad. Yeah. Couldn't have had a better day, really. The weather's great. Uh, the riders seem to be excelling themselves. Uh, it's been a good deal, yeah, all round. Dougie Lampkin finished ninth, his highest placing in a world round so far. Dad is delighted, in a Yorkshire sort of way. He has done marvellous, yeah. don't get me wrong. Yeah. You can't understand how he can do some things, and then on something that was, sim was reasonably simple as that. Yeah. And 12 foot steps aren't simple, have they? But... You can listen. <laughs> some of the time. <laughs> 